yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Back Again, episode uh, 163, uh, uh, with my guys, Troops and Goonie over there. It looks like a different room for, for, for men like Troops, so let's check in. Troops, how you doing, man? Where are we, where are we at now? What are we, what are we saying? What, what's going on, bro? <laughs> Marcel, Marcel where, where are we at now, blood? <laughs> it's, it's different backdrops every every single time we hop on this well i know the people don't every time we hop on this you have, you have a different backdrop you know last time it was palm trees now it's a now it's a beautiful now it's a beautiful painting of, of, of what what is it the desert the beat is that a picture the flower i don't even know what it is but maybe a satsuma <laughs> or something you get me some exotic satsuma you get me but right now right now man's in tenerife blood you understand doing up family holiday you get me i've done the honeymoon but i have children as well blood you get me so goody knows we have to still do the family thing as well we can't just do the whole um husband and wife thing we have to look after the youth as well mm -hmm. so yeah this holiday this one ain't for me but this is for the youngest you get me so i'm just literally watching these man by the pool i'm literally watching them right now because where my balcony is is right by the pool but there's bare children as like a children's resort, so I can't show you like secrets. You get me, you might get flagged in them thing there. You know, like that. You understand? Mm -hmm. No nuts business around. Yes, sir. Man, I'm bad man. Bum the nonsense. But I can see the kids right now loving life in the pool, blood. There's like a little pool party for the kids right now. So yeah, man, they're just having Wait, a time. You said, you said it's a it's a children's resort. Yeah, so there's a like it's nice. to me it seems like a to me it seems like a to me it seems like a children's resort because blood, there's more kids than adults. Yeah. You get me? There's more kids than adults, blood. You get me? So, and there's like a lot of um, events during the day for the youth them. Like right now, there's a pool party going on for oh, the okay. youth Okay, so, so it's like a holiday daycare kind of. So they, they literally, they have like staff that will take your kids and, and take care of them for the day and stuff like that? Yeah, so there's this thing where you can drop off your youth them 10 till 3. Oh, but shit. you know what it is? But you know, since Madeline McCann and them thing there, we don't deal with drop off my youth them. Nowhere! Right. You, Facts. you understand? Facts. Drop my kid where, blood? Then I come back, I don't even fucking find a slider, let alone my child, blood. You understand? So, you get me? The wife's out there right now. She's poolside. Obviously, work after run. So, I'm with the man them, you see me? Mm. Oh, nice. That, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Tenerife, uh, off, off the coast of Africa. So, uh, <clears throat> actually, on that on that, uh, on that, that topic, I saw, I saw a little something expressions was going at you for for how you got to uh, how you got to actual tenerife itself yeah you, you yeah, try mr. Hey, mr. 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 Ba, mr. <laughs> everyone knows me executive gold member lounge business you understand a air miles longer than my cocky blood and my cocky lung you see me no pause on that one blood hella air miles blood you understand but to go to um tenerife it was either jump on an easy jet flight at um at um, 2 p.m. or jump on a British Airways flight at 6 a.m., bro. You get me? And for me to get up at 6 a.m. to get my gal ready, me ready, my two youth them ready, get to the airport, bro, I've got to get up at like 3, 3 2 o'clock in the morning, blood. My youth them ain't going to get no sleep. You understand? So there was no option than to get the EasyJet flight. You get me? So, you understand? It is what it is, blood. You get me? But like I said to Expressions, blood, the man, they just start catch flight. You understand? Man's been catching flights, blood. Yeah? <laughs> Easy jet, Ryanair, Virgin, British Airways, American Airlines, United, Delta, JetBlue, Southwest, you fucking name it, rude boy. Yeah? Just no blood. Yeah. <laughs> That's, it reminds me of when, <laughs> when he was asking about Dallas. I forgot what we had what, what we had to go do. I think it might have been the wrestling thing and he thought like Dallas was like some village and all because it was Texas. Oh, yeah, Dallas is like <laughs> Bro, Dallas is popping. Like, the man that don't know you, the dog. You understand? The man that don't know you, the dog. You get me? Oh, man, that's catching 10 flights to fucking dumb rep, blood. Get the fuck out of here, blood. We fly direct, <laughs> baby. We fly direct, blood. Yeah? You feel me? Let's get that in as well, blood. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, Tenerife, Tenerife. Yeah, we were saying a little earlier. I mean, I've been on the other side. I've been to Seychelles. I haven't been to Tenerife. Coast That's where I want to go. Like, Coast Seychelles is a thing that is I, beautiful, man. Yeah, that 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 would just be me and Lily. You they make come in Seychelles, man. That's me and Lily, black. Cause that's like a romantic island, romantic settings. You know what I'm saying? You them can stay in fucking England. The nicest, nicest sand. Actually, there and there in Jamaica is the nicest, nicest beaches I've ever I've ever been to uh, physically, personally. The Seychelles sand is, is soft, it's white, the water is crystal clear. You can see the bottom. warm water. So it's awesome. Uh, when you go in the water, when you go in the water, you look down, you see your yeah, feet. You, down, you see the fish, you see the fish, and you see everything going you on. You feel me? 
What's going on with you, Goonie? Um, I'm currently in the process of um, changing my name and my location because um, I know Expressions is after me, so I'm not going to make it very easy for you. So, yeah, we are doing this whole That's thing. That's another thing. We're going somewhere that is rural. We have no Wi-Fi connection. Yeah, That's said rural. Oh, That's no. good. Yeah. Isaiah, that's going West Virginia. <laughs> I get, yeah, I've got saying, some. Yeah, no, 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 no. Even can... worse, I've got some links that can hide you by me, bro. I got some links. We just, we literally just drilled that. We just drilled a borehole, so we now have water, running water at the village. But you know, <laughs> I, promise, <laughs> I promise, I promise my people that you know I'm good lives matter forever. But I'm gonna get a head transplant to disguise myself and all that. My that's going turkey, turkey blood. Yeah, trust me. I'm have a Jericho, old school, flipping California styley, bruv. Easy E and that. You get me? Cruising down the block in my six. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So what's the what's the actual date? Because because I, I according to the message, uh, the the date for the funeral has been set. This this weekend, or should we be looking out this weekend? I, I, have, I, I have no I idea. Think it's Monday. The next band sports news. <laughs> yeah, I think it's Monday. There yeah, we go. Hey, Goody, you better play Tottenham lose this weekend, you know. So you need to give him more ammunition, you know. Chelsea's going to lose. Chelsea's going to win. That's exactly what's going to happen. Ah, you're done. You're done. He has a week. He has a week to think of shit. You're done. A week. Oh, you're done. Finish. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, our poor guy, Goody. Oh, air transplant, transplant, and all that. All that, bro. I'm telling you. But, you know, Goody's thinking about his mother right now. Why didn't I think before I spoke? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Why did that not threaten? You know what it is? This Zoom, this Zoom gives a false sense of... I, I forget a lot that what we're doing here is going to be seen by everybody. Just being on this and just seeing three faces just gives a false sense of... Right, I, can find, when, I can say yeah, whatever the fuck I want. Mm -hmm. He's got his little black screen and then it's me, you, it's, yeah. and then it's you, me, yeah. you, and fucking two blood. So when we're talking, it's just that. But then when it goes yeah. out, you're like, all right. When you're talking, it sounds fine. When it finally goes out, you're like, oh, shit, it's black guys. Yeah, you don't like realize that thousands of people are going to watch this shit, blood. You're like, raw. Hey, do, you know, do, you know, do you know the worst thing is, yeah, is mine wasn't it. Matisse done a whole thing, like a whole segment with Steven Spielberg effects and everything to get back at. Oh, he's um, thrown X. on graphics. All he needed, <laughs> bro, all he needed was a was a shell station and chipmunk behind him, and it would have been a diss track, cuz. Yeah, <laughs> me, I had like 30 seconds, and X was like, you. You remember um, you know that guy from, from, from Kidderhood? You. That's you. what X is. <laughs> yeah. You, Trevor. You. <laughs> you remember that? Cooney. You. Man, no football. You is you, Mika. Remember, team, in Dance All Queen, when you when he comes back and he's like, it's you, Mika. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, Walk and live, talk and bum block out there. The man coming and said, it's you, Mika. You understand? <laughs> Uh, I'm telling you, Goonie. so people check out, check out, uh, check out for that. Keep an eye out for for Goonie's funeral sometime next week. We'll do a little cross promo. I got a tuxedo as well, blood. I'm ready, Goonie, blood. Ben, I'll cool. carry you oh, as well. I'm, you know, you I'll carry you. Unity, good, bro. <laughs> I'm a real nigga, bro. I'll throw a, I'll, I'll throw a Z of fucking Cali in there. I'm a real nigga, bro. <laughs> Okay, I'll throw a set of cat. I know you stop bunning, but you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna need a spiff after this blood. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh it's yeah, yeah. Stress, I bet you, I've I've got a wedding next month. I think I probably need to expedite that suit for Monday. <laughs> I was gonna order a suit that. next month. I probably need to. You better get that dry clean. You, 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 better, you better put down the dry cleaning from tomorrow, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, now people look out for that. Uh, so when we left you guys, if I remember correctly, Liverpool hadn't played. Yeah, Liverpool hadn't played because Liverpool played yeah. on Monday. So we've got that one game to talk about. Ended one one. I mean, what what a start for Liverpool, man! I mean, they 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 just above United. It's them and United holding up the bottom. It's it is nuts. That uh, that game was crazy because I I thought they started playing better after that Darwin incident. What you guys uh, what you guys think of that uh, that Liverpool one one game? Told you. I think they were dominated. Until Palace took the lead, blood. I think yeah, it was total dominance, blood. You understand? Darwin hitting the post with his um, he never hit, he never, he never um, connected correctly. All the chip thing. The yeah. So for me, like, I really thought that Liverpool had it in the back. I just thought it was just, it was just a thing where when they get that goal, 
the floodgates will open. Yeah. But Patrick Vieira, yet, and, yet again, showing that he is tactically aware, you understand? And, and that he will adapt his team to play the opponent. And the counter-attacking we saw from Palace was out of this fucking world, bro. And if people actually go back and look on the pod, the, uh, the, uh, the last one we just did, I actually said that I, I think Liverpool will get the win, but it will be tough. Because Palace are wicked away from home. I said that. They've been to City and won. They came to us last year and drew 2-2. They should have beat us last year, if we're being totally honest. You understand? Mm. They are capable of going to the big away grounds and putting in performances. We've seen them go to Stanford Bridge easy. and win as well. This you understand? We've seen them go to the bridge it's and easy. win as well. Man. And Go- I want to shout out Goonies boy, Eze. Blood, word on the road. Um, Fabinho is still spinning. He's still spinning. <laughs> He's word on the road, man's still spinning like a fucking baby, bro. It's tragic now, bro. He spun him like a widgie board. It was like, you know, like remember, remember, you, you know, like um, remember when you used to do um, 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 music lessons as, as kids, and you had that fucking, you had that instrument that you would rub, and then yeah, 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 oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. The videos like that, he's just spinning. He's remember the waltzers. Brother. My man's on the waltzers, bro. He's bro. vomiting. He's telling my man to pull over, slow down, stop the ride. Bro, let me tell you something. And the finish from Zaha, yeah? yeah the finish was, beautiful. was ornery-esque, bro. But I want to talk about Virgil van Duppy. Virgil van Duppy. Because he's moving like a ghost. You are moving like a ghost, dog. Yeah? Saliba, <laughs> Saliba step into the Premier League and you're shook, blood. You look half the man that you was, bro. Lazy. That fucking, that fucking e that they started as well next to him. How no, do you first. not start Joe Gomez? Joe Gomez is fit, yeah. Joe Gomez, when he was fit and firing, he was putting pressure on Matic. Matic and Van Dyke are the main partnership. How the fuck you put this little e at you in? He was getting terrorized, blood. And then the when they actually put Gomez in, they look more stable as a back four. He was playing balls forward. He was... Like, you understand? Gomez is a ball of blood. But you see Klopp? Klopp's in problems, blood. And I said to the mandem as well, that that Mane, selling Mane, when I used to tell all these Liverpool men, Mane is your main guy. No, it's Mo Salah, mate. It's Mo Salah, mate. You look at the Egyptian, mate. And then the Pharaoh, mate. It, no, no, dog. It's Sadio Blood Clark Mane. That's why I used to call Sadio Mane... The Black Suarez, blood. The Black Suarez. Because he was on that Suarez level when Suarez was at Liverpool, bro. Mane scored all in every big game. Mane scored. When they, when they need a goal, Mane bring them back into the game. You see, if they did have Mane against Palace, they don't lose that game. They don't lose that game. But also, I want to shout out a man that I've been bigging up. Yeah? I said he's better than that ginger prick at fucking Tottenham. Luis Diaz. On his right foot, mate. Not his left, mate. On his right. Wrong foot. Spam, spam you think Kulis is doing that on his right foot, mate? Huh? Spam 10 and get one in, bruv. That's what he done. Just shoot. Look shoot, at shoot, spam 10. Bro, he the post. And he got his luck. Bro. It's lovely finish. Which, no, first game against Fulham. First game First game against Fulham, he rasped off the post. Remember that one? He was Ooh. very unlucky not to, not, not to get a goal at Fulham. This time, look at the technical ability of this brother. Not only did he duppy free man. He then bins it as well, bro. On his on, on his on his wrong foot. Respect needs to be put on Luis Diaz, bro. You understand? I hope now people see what I've been saying, black. You understand? That he is better than Kulusevski, bro. I'm not saying Kulusevski's not bad, but Diaz for me, he, he he he's different with it, bro. He's different with it, blood. And he's the reason why they drew that game. Oh, Where was really? Salah? I did say they draw as well. I said Palace were going to draw that one, bruv. I knew that for a fact. Because the way, first of all, the way Liverpool are moving against Fulham, I was like, nah, this, this, it's not looking good. And you see with Jurgen Klopp, you see once it goes wrong with this guy, it goes wrong, bruv. Because you need to think back. To yeah, he gets round easy. You see, think back to Dortmund, yeah, the last season that he was there. He almost relegated them because of yeah. disagreements and that. Yeah, the way it's yeah. looking with Klopp and that team, he looks like he's not happy with what he's got. And in terms of the recruitment, because... When you look at that team, they've got no depth in that midfield now. When you think about it, now that Thiago's injured, Fabinho's badly off form, Henderson is useless, Milner is, is useless. Bruv, who else do they have in that midfield? 
But this is the thing. It's just what? Oh, Kate, yeah, Kate yeah. is the only one? And oh, Kate yeah. apparently is trying to leave Liverpool, bro. So what's going on? Yeah. This is a whole mess. Yeah. It's I, not looking good. Man, I'm saying that they're flipping. I see Liverpool, I see Liverpool, I see Liverpool fans saying that they're not competing for nothing this year. It's just literally a top four target. I, I think it's a bit too early to say that. You get me? I don't think, I think they win the league. Like of, I don't think they win the league. There's still a lot of football to play. But cup, but cup competitions, yeah. they're going to do well, 100%, I think. They're still yeah, they always well. do well in that, that. From back in the day, them man, they always do well. well on. Are they trying to teeth my... Oh, well, all right, cool. The way I thought they were trying to teeth my flipping... The, the, my son, Ben. The, 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 the crazy gonna... part, too, is if... If, if, if Zaha just uses the correct foot instead of using his right foot and going with the outside, if he uses his left foot, Klopp would have been even in more serious trouble because they're coming out there without... They were very lucky to get a point. Mm-hmm. They, were, they honestly were very... That was a wide open, wide open goal. Then, Zaha, of course, Palace I mean... Are, the, sorry, sorry to cut you off. Palace are not mugs. No, Do you know their centre-back pairing, Anderson and, and Gwehi, yeah? That's, who, that's Anderson, who I was about to talk to. You see, I've, I've already mentioned about Gwehi. You don't know what I think about him. I think he's quality. But you see that Anderson guy, bruv. Mm. He <laughs> had a masterclass. Absolute masterclass. You see how to rattle strikers. That was a lesson one-on-one. But I know you was going to come on to that. But that's the type of centre-back that I miss, that I like to see. And the camera doesn't always show those things. You get me? This is why it's important to go to games and, and, and watch. Because these are the things that you catch off camera. It's the little shithousery things that they do to rattle the strikers and get them sent off. But go on, Zah. That clip, I was about to reference, that clip that came out after from, from the master footage that they put out that showed every incident that he was just, every single time Darwin was by him, he was nudging him, he was what's it called, he was just doing everything. And the second a striker starts talking to a defender, you're in his head. You're automatically in his head. You run him. Then we saw we saw exactly how to mark Darwin Nunes now. So each, each time Liverpool just pulls up to you, get a guy that annoys him, and you can get an easy, old easy school, as red card. Old school Sunday league tricks. I like troops, bruv. That's what my Sunday league manager used to say, bruv. Just talk shit to the striker, bruv. That's it. So, so troops, a couple a couple years ago, you were pretty much city city was uh, was it less? You know, two years ago, city city was in a similar spot like this, and you were pretty on target on where. That very early too, you were on target on where where they're going to end up and all that. How do you feel about this uh, two games in? This Liverpool team only has one point. City City has a perfect record so far. We have a perfect record. How do you feel on where they're going to where they're going to land and all that? I do believe that Liverpool still are the second best team in the league. Hundred percent. I, I still do believe there is a gap between Liverpool and uh, the closest contender which at this moment in time is Chelsea, if we're going off um, last season's league finish. So I do believe that they will still finish second. I think it will be a bit more of a challenge to finish second because I believe that Chelsea will go again in the market. We're going to talk about what's going on at Chelsea. I believe that Tottenham have enough to compete. Um, I still think that we'll go in there and, and do a little business. But for me, City... It's, it's, it's cities again, bro. You get me? I, I, I'm going to say it again. It's, 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 it's cities again, bro. Especially with the likes of Harlan coming in as well. And um, a goal and assist in his first two games. He's hit the ground running. That's what everybody didn't want to see. And that's what every Man City fan wanted to see. And yeah, I, I don't think you can look no further than a Man City. I think next season is where you could have two, three title contenders. I think this year... I think this year there won't even be a title race. I think City will just... They're just going to run with it, 100%, it. I reckon. It won't be like a big... It won't be like 10 point, like 10, 12 point gap. But I think it'll be like six. You get me? Definitely six. Goonie, where, where, where's Liverpool landing after the shitty start? I still think they get second because you've got to respect the point gap, bro. It's just like Troops was saying, because they finish what, 17, 18 points away from third, bro. So they still have got like if they lose ground on, on City, there's still a lot of ground between them and third place. You know what I'm saying? And you just gotta respect their quality, bro. Although they've lost one or two players, um, well, a main player in Mane, I still think that they've got enough to do something because let's have it right. Mane, I agree with Troops, is was their top boy, in my opinion. Like I thought he was he was that difference maker in that Liverpool team. And I thought he made Salah look better. I think I think he helped elevate Salah to that level as well. But what I'll say is is 
the way Luis Diaz has stepped in, you've you've got to respect it. And it's and it's still very early in the season. I think he's gonna. Do, I think he's still got a lot more to improve as the season goes along. <laughs> Where Liverpool might find themselves in trouble though is if they get any more injuries in that midfield. So it will take a so it will take like a freak season. So something like what you know. Chelsea had where we were just getting injuries everywhere in key positions for them to be finishing away from third. But even that's an extreme for me. It really, it really honestly feels like the only place that they actually have strength and depth is just the attack. Because even the center back, center back pairing, I mean, if if one like like the back line, one or two injuries there, it, it's looking it'll look it'll look dicey. Dyson. Van Dyke, they're one Van Dyke injury yeah. away from capitulation, fam. His his defending, I mean, his his I I get I've always said that Liverpool. Liverpool have a strong starting eleven, but not a strong squad. Mm-hmm. That's where City beat them. Yeah. City squad, squad is strong. strong. City, <laughs> City, City, City can afford to sell Sterling, sell Zinchenko, sell fucking Jesus. You think Liverpool could do them thing there? You're mad. That's crazy. That's a that's a very valid point, groups. That's three three senior players that were sold, and we we'll look at how we're still talking about how they're still going to run away, run away with the title. I mean, that's that's incredible. Incredible squad depth right there. But yeah, now Liverpool, Liverpool uh, Palace 1 1. That was Monday night football. They are uh, two points, two points uh, so far with two games played. United, again, as we mentioned, is on zero. Relegation battle yeah, um, game next weekend between Liverpool and Man United. <laughs> it's not looking good. But yeah, but what is what is kind of looking good so far, and I mean, I'm happy, we're all happy, is, is us. Uh, we're looking good too. Two wins out of two games, six points up top. How many goals? I think we've scored seven, six goals. Six, six goals. Two we've, conceded. Six goals we've conceded. Looking good, man. We're going to Bournemouth uh, on Saturday. It's the last game of the day, the the five five thirty kickoff in England. Um, I it's 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 scary how relaxed and not even worried about this game I am, troops. It's it's. I, I don't like how we started here. This team, this team's looking too good too early. That I, I'm, I'm in full like twerk season, way too early. I'm, I'm, I'm loving life right now, bro. How are we feeling going into Saturday? Saturday, it's gonna be a tough game, bro. You get me. I've been to Bournemouth away numerous occasions. Uh, seen us win, <clears throat> seen us lose, seen us draw. Um, <clears throat> last trip I took there was a two-one victory uh, by my blood Clark Yang. Um, this year I think we'll get the win but it's not going to be as easy um, as you think Zah um, going down to Bournemouth early on in the season is is difficult because the fans get behind their team and Bournemouth Stadium the vitality it's a lot like Highbury where the, the, the fans are on top of the players you understand you can literally if you're front row in the away end or in the Burnley end, you can touch the player. If the linesman's pissing you off, you can flick his ear and say, I pussy old. Open your fucking eyes, blood. <laughs> literally, bro. Like, literally. Literally. You what's can the, cough, what, what's yeah? the ground that's like that the most out of the ones that you've been to? I say I say Bournemouth, the vitality, bro. Bournemouth is, a, is, 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 is 15 or 16,000. It's four corners and it's just crap. And literally... The way that the stand is set, you're above the players. You're, you're over the players, man. Do you understand? So, Burnley have made a good start to the season as well. Obviously, they got their uh, first win of the season at home. Um, I can't recall um, what they did last weekend. Forgive me for that. But I know they won their first game of the season. I think they might have drew last they weekend. They did, yeah. I saw yeah no, they got slapped by City 4-0. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they played City. Yeah, that's City. So, City, anyone can get slapped by City. That's you understand? That's... that's the, there's no shame in that blood, you get me. But what we have to do is what we did at Palace. Quiet, quiet, quiet early. that crowd in the first yeah. 20 minutes. We need to stifle them. And then when we have the crowd out, then we play our game. You understand? But I do believe we will get their win. You understand? We have a fully fit squad. We have everybody available that we want available. Jesus has made a great start. So obviously, I want the same again. High intense pressing from the start. Interchanging. You understand? Fluidity. I want all of it, blood. You understand? Um, I know that Tierney, my brother, my captain, you get me? Big up Odegaard, because you know I'm an Odegaard guy, but for me, KT should be the captain. I know KT's back, but I'm a man where I don't like to 
stop momentum. I don't like to change something if it's not broken. You get me? You're not going to fix something if it's not broken. But right now, the Arsenal team is not broken. So, KT, I love you like cooked food, but you have to sit down. You have to sit down upon the bench, blood, yeah? And we have to play the exact same lineup that played against um, Leicester. First. And if we play that same lineup and attack the game the way that we attack the Leicester game, I've got a whole heap of confidence that we'll have three out of three, man. We have a fully fit squad. Yeah. Yeah, because Smith, Fabio, Rose, Smith, Fabio, Fabio, Fabio and yeah, Smith Rowe played. Did you, did you get a peek uh, of that? Smith Rose back. Pardon? Did you get a peek of the, the, the 21s game? But the, the yak went long yesterday. Did you see any any of the errors? No, because obviously yesterday I was traveling. Oh, yeah, you were going to Tenerife. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I literally landed last night. So today's like my first day. So I didn't really catch that. I've seen that Marquinhos has been keeping up. Wicked. Yeah, I watched yeah. it. I watched his first I'm game, scoring. bro. I watched the one where he scored yeah. two goals. He, he looks he looks yeah. good. He looks really good. Yeah. And I even said, I even said on my AFTV interview on Saturday that I think he should be on the bench for the Bournemouth game. You get me? Yeah. I think he needs to be on the bench, bro. You understand? He's, he's too good for the under-21s. It's, it's a bit like the Martinelli situation when we got him. He's too good for the under-21s. He has to be upgraded. I think they, they're, using, they're using that to help him acclimatise to, like, the culture and all that. and Because it's all going to change. He's a Brazilian boy. It's all going to change once once England gets uh, gets cold and fucking gloomy. So so they, I think they're using that. To... Depending on where he's from in Brazil. That's true, what it is true, as well. Because true, some too. parts of Brazil gets cold. Yeah. You understand? Some parts gets cold. So depending on where he is actually from, but for me he's too good for the under 21s. He's too good. He needs to be on the bench. You get me? But yeah, like I said, I'd go same eleven. And if we go same eleven, free no Arsenal. I'm 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 with you. The team picks itself right now. They they don't don't change anything. That's uh, that's that's broken. Keep it going. I'm sorry to the Tomiassos and all that. You guys have to fight for your spot. And yeah, likewise. I mean, it's it's. As I told you in the, in the beginning, I'm very, I'm, I'm feeling very laid back about it, very, which I shouldn't. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking three, four, nil, too. Guni, uh, your thoughts on uh, thoughts on this? Are we, are we in for? You think we're in for a surprise or, or any, any? No, any I, I don't think you are. I think you can get three points. To tell you the truth, in terms of scoreline, though, because it's a newly promoted team, it's hard to say, bruv. Do you know what I mean? But I think you're gonna win it. I don't know about how much. I can't say a 3 0, 4 0, or 2 1. It could be anything, bro. Do you know what I mean? It's hard to predict this early in the season. But from what I've seen of you, lot, I'd, I'd be very, very surprised if you got anything less than a win. Nice. So, so all, all wins around from the prediction. So, one more Arsenal note, which I don't think you probably, because of Tenerife, have you seen, you haven't seen the All or Nothing uh, episodes, the new ones that came out, right? No, no, yeah. Yet. I'm going to watch them. Um... When I get back to London, so I won't watch them till next week. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen that they came out last night, so I, I, I haven't seen them yet. I'm probably going to watch uh, the rest today. So Arsenal wins all round. We're going to slide to the Chelsea game. Chelsea goes to uh, Ellen Road on on Sunday. Ellen, uh, Ellen Road. So yeah, you, wait. I thought it was you, you pronounce it Ellen. It's Ellen Road. Yeah. Yeah, Ellen Road. Oh, we, we, Ellen Road. Like the Zimbabwean style Ellen, like the animal. <laughs> Ellen, like the animal. <laughs> Ellen. Ellen Road, uh, Chelsea. Chelsea goes there. How are you feeling about that one, bro? Todd Bowley. There's a lot of rumors with Chelsea. A lot of uh, a lot of talk that I don't like. Well, both we don't like, but whatever. Yeah, I mean, who do you don't like neither? Let's get that in. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna. Oh, you you don't want it? Actually, it's before the game, game, you don't want. That's interesting. You don't. You don't want it. So we're talking about the, all right, so we're talking about that. the Aubameyang situation first. You need to tell me to message Abba don't, to wait, tell him to reject the deal. Because there's priorities that we need to address first, bruv. And I've been saying it for the longest. We need that CDM. We need that CDM. That is priority. And I'll be shouting it until the cows come home. It's not that I think Aubameyang's a bad player. It's not that I don't like Aubameyang. I just think he's going to face the same problems that every other striker is facing at Chelsea Football Club. That's the issue. If you address the problem, if you address what I believe is the root cause, then you can start going for these players. But until then, I think he's going to struggle if he comes to Chelsea Football Club, to tell you the truth. Damn, that's crazy. I, I, who's your... It's because it's just habit, right? It's, well... Technically, yeah, if you want to say Havertz is the false nine, but we've got Broyer as well. No idea why we're not using oh, yeah. him. Why is he injured? No, he's not injured. He's not injured. He's, he's on the bench. He, he he's on the bench. Uh, 
bench against Tottenham. Yeah, he came on against Tottenham. He came on against uh, Everton as well. It's just, I think Tuchel wants to see a little bit more from him um, before he trusts him to start in the lineup. Because you got because re- you got to remember as well. As much as I love Breuer, I love the guy. I I think he deserves chances. You're talking about players that have competed week in week out at the top level when he hasn't just done that quite yet. So to the manager, he's probably looking at it and saying, "Well, he's got to prove himself an early spot before anything." Do you know what I mean? Mm. Okay, so so no, I hear that. No, Obama. he had a good season last year, but coming into a club like Chelsea, it's a big yeah, club. It's a big jump. It's, it's, it's a big jump. Different. It's not as easy to. It's true. It's 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 it's, it's, it's all fair and well going to fucking Southampton, no disrespect, and getting goals, but. When you're at Chelsea, there's actual pressure on you to score goals every game. Not like you miss a chance, man, on your neck, yeah, bro. Exactly. Ain't Southampton, bro. Especially, especially you now. Southampton, you can go. Especially now with yeah, Southampton, you can go like six, seven, eight games without a goal. And yeah, me Chelsea, you mad, man, on your neck, bro. Yeah, I mean, you're you. you're seeing it with our existing players, isn't it? Like the ones that are missing chances. So mm-hmm. imagine for him if it gets ugly for him, that's he, you can destroy a youth's confidence like that. Although I don't mm-hmm. think he's the type. You get me? I still think I think he's a very strong-minded individual, and I think he believes in his ability. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. He believes in his ability a lot, and I like to see that. But it's just he's got to take his chances when he's on the pitch. You know what I mean? But Zara, so Ellen you, Road, innit? Have you heard uh, now before before we head there? Have you heard anything from 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 Oba, from Oba's end about about the Chelsea stuff? I who me? I ain't heard shit, bro. You get me? Like all I've heard I is think he's interested in Chelsea. I don't know. I don't know. Because everything he wants is in Barca. His family's in Barca. He's got good weather. He's, he's playing uh, Champions League football next year with Barcelona. Xavi believes in him. He just got um, a new number. I Wait, don't get where's his, where his this mom is. In, I thought his mom is in Italy. Is she in Spain? Italy? I thought it was Italy. He's got family in Spain. Oh, okay, okay. Because his mum's got his mom's got Spanish in her. His mum's got Spanish in her. That's where he's got his Spanish mix from. It's his mum. His mum's side. His dad's like full Gabonese. His mum's like Italian, Spanish. She's bare mix up. Like me. She's bare mix up. Like me. You understand? So that's where he gets the mix from. But I just it, it for me it don't make sense, bro. You understand? Like you look at Chelsea, London. they're not London. that attractive. You understand? Like it's not like when even when Giroud went there, they was a bit more attractive. Have ha- Hazard was there. You get me? Who are you going to go play with? Fucking Pulisic. It's, are you fucking serious? Oh, yeah. Like, that's, come that's, on. That's, oh. that's another one. He's on his way out, isn't you he? Have to look, at this, look at the bigger picture and who's there. And I got Pedri here. I got Ansu Fati. I got fucking uh, G- uh, Gavi. I've got fucking Lewandowski. I've got all of these men here. I'm gonna go play with the. What, what am I doing? The only, the only way he does that. And uh, I was about to say that, and that's the big pull. The whole London, London, that is not enough. The London aspect. Of How it. much more money? How much more money does his brother want? No, but doesn't he... How much more money? Do you want, Barcelona. You got around ten fucking lakhs. How much fucking money do you it's need? It's more Barcelona because what you were saying was right it's... though. He doesn't. I don't think he wants to leave Barcelona. It's just that Barcelona is. When I've seen this Fabrizio guy come out about Aubameyang wants to play for Chelsea because he's ready for Champions League football. So at time, that brother chat shit, you know. It's not everything he gets right, bro. I'm not saying that he's 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 wrong on the Abba situation. But to say that Aubameyang's interested because of Champions League. Are Barcelona in Champions League? The fuck you on about, blood? Do you understand? I noticed that there's no stories going around. So he's just recycling shit now. He's recycling shit. There's no here we go. Man's doing Frankfurt transfers. No one cares about Frankfurt, bro. No one cares about Frankfurt, bro. You understand? Like, seriously. If you have to look at the bigger picture, Abamyang, I, I know he watches my shit. Hopefully he watches this episode. My my advice to him, like, forget me being an Arsenal fan. My advice to you as a brethren, yeah? As a brethren, look at the situation, evaluate the situation, take a deep look, don't listen to outside interference and make the decision on your own. And then I'm sure you'll make the right decision. Yeah. Because Chelsea, they're not attractive right so now. My, my, my. Not, not, like, the only pull they really got is Sterling. Sterling's the only pull right now. And Barcelona have way more than that. You understand? You got the chance to play for Xavi as well. One of the greatest midfielders of all time. A man that got you firing goals again. A man that put his arm around you. A man that gave you the confidence to turn back into 
about my blood clot yank. Because you weren't about my blood clot yank. You were just about my yank. The blood clot left your clot blood. He's the one that insta that put that fire in your belly. You understand? Yeah. And, and, and revitalized your career. Because your career was doing that, dog, with Arteta. It was doing that. You weren't getting back in this team. Xavi lifted you back up. So now you have to show loyalty to that man. Don't you? Don't you think that... I've done my bit. I've done my bit to try and stop him going to Barca. <laughs> now, <laughs> yeah, I've, I've literally laid down the whole fucking thing, blood. Yeah, I broke it down like a bad B, blood. There's nothing else I can do now, bro. It's up to him. But don't you? Don't you think that London pull though? Because you say you say what's called, but that London, you know that people. It's like 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 for example, I mean, London. London is a pull for for anybody. No, but his kids don't even speak English, blood. His kids go to a uh, French school. In, in England. They don't even go to an English school, blood. They don't speak English, bro. When I met his kids, I'm like, hello. The kids looking at me confused. Yes, I said, bonjour. Ça oh, bonjour. Ça va? Ça va bien. He started flowing. I said, what the fuck? I said to, I said to Alicia, yo, don't they learn English? She's like, they're trying, but they don't want to. So we come back to London for, blood. The French are best. Okay, up so the, the kids, if the kids, <laughs> if the kids don't want to. So there's the thing. If the kids don't like it, if the wife don't like it, then of course, then... Do you really think Alicia wants to come back to piss, pissy rain London when she's getting a fucking suntan every day in her villa? So what, Are you so mad? What is it with everyone? But it's, that's the case with every single one of these guys, man. Every every Zah, every person wants to be in London. Zah, it's a reason. case. I don't know what it it's, is. I don't think it's that. It's not even being in London. It's the money. I don't even think it's that either. Look, mm -hmm. I, what I've what I've been seeing is, if it's to be believed, is that. Barcelona were doing this so they can register other players. It's not that Aubameyang wants to go. Yeah, they're Javi forcing. Don't want him they're to forcing leave. Javi out. said he has him in his plans. He wants him to stay. Oh uh, no! So so about so about oh, I had the salary cut the first year. His 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 his, his wages are going way up now. This is they're what going I'm saying. The normal level that they make. That's getting, why I'm trying to get rid of. Frankie's not leaving, bruv. Frankie put his foot down and he's staying. So they have to sell somebody. Do you know what I mean? And the money that they were going to get from Frankie. It's talking 75 million, 80 million euros because they haven't even registered Kunde. They still got other signings that are waiting to come into the team and they can't sign them until they've registered these other players. So this is why... Like they are literally trying to... Like I said it as well. For me, the only way this still happens is money. If if Barca force yeah. him out, then it happens. Otherwise, he don't... He, he's Why would he want to leave? Yeah, it makes no sense to me. Why would you want to leave? Yeah. Like, when I, like, even when I went out there and saw him in March, his dad... I, I saw his dad... Before I saw Abba, his dad came out first. I was chatting to Papa. And Papa was, even Papa was like, this uh, troops, I cannot believe my son plays for Barcelona. Like, you could see that, you could see, like, the proudness yeah. in his eyes, bro. It's like me when Trey scored that goal in the final. The proudness, blood, of your son. Yeah. You understand? So, to, to, from Barca to Chelsea. <laughs> really? <laughs> Yeah, in better. 20 and let, and, and let me get this in and let me get this in in 2022 not 2008 not 2006 not even 2016 2022 nah, nah, but you hear the you hear, you hear the stupid money that this uh that, that the guy is offering to todd Bowley. i heard a rumor casemiro i heard a rumor that you you, you offered casemiro 400k a week well, this is the thing. So, troops, I'll, ad I'll address you first, yeah? Enough of this <laughs> to my club, yeah? Tired of it. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. But you see now with this... No, but I didn't respect him. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. But you see what you see where we're, we're going with this Todd Bowley thing? I think, like, when you look at the bigger picture, obviously, nobody's expecting to win the league this season. But as the transfer windows go along, you're going to start to see more and more and more improvements. So I think it's more of a long-term vision. But um, the Casemiro thing, honestly, it smells to me like he's going to stay no, at it, Real Madrid. It was it you or you not? Know, it might have been you. It's Man United. No, it was United. Yeah, it's Man United. United. It smells to me like they're going to stay at Real Madrid. But this is the profile of midfielder that I am taking at Chelsea all day long. Why... So Casemiro, that's a signing that makes your dick hard. That's of that's the signing we need, bro. Like that's the best, C arguably one of the best CDMs in the world. Not even arguably one of the best CDMs in the world. Do you know what I mean? We do not have that. We don't have that screen in front of that defense. Our defense is consistently under pressure. And you see what hides it that deficiency so well is the quality that we have in that back three. That's the only thing that hides it. I'm telling you, if we never sign Cooley Bali this season, yeah, we would it would have been magnified times 10. 
I'm telling you. I'm, that guy is going to save us points this season. If it wasn't for, if, if we don't sign that CDM, like Casemiro is what we need. You get me? I don't care that he's 31, 32 years old. You throw the money and you get him and you watch how this team changes. Do you know how, do you, do you know how far I'm going to take this? If we sign Casemiro now, we're going to be finishing very close to second place, in my opinion, if we sign him. Because it's a game changer, in my opinion. You'll start to see the difference in attack. You'll start to see the midfield link up with the attack a lot better. You'll start to see less pressure on the, on the defence. you start to see a lot more dominance from Chelsea in terms of, in terms of ball possession and, and chance creation and this and that and the other. I'm telling you, that's the signing that we need to make. But for some reason, we're not doing it. I've just got to trust my gaffer to know what he's doing, bro. You get me? There we go. So Chelsea's going to Leeds. I didn't get your prediction. Yeah, no, we didn't get your prediction. Guni, uh, score prediction for that? You think you guys are going to win? I do think we're going to win, but I just need to remind Chelsea fans that when we went over there last season, it wasn't the most, no, it wasn't the best win at all. It wasn't. It was scrappy. It was acting. Yeah, and you disgusting. Team, no, no Rafinha. It was. It doesn't matter. Do two, two, it, two, it, two against Brentford, it, I believe. This is, the, this is the thing, is if Leeds want to sit back and, and stifle us with that low block, I struggle to see us absolutely slapping them because the thing is with Chelsea is that we're consistently inconsistent, if that makes sense. You see what I mean? Now, and when yeah. we face low blocks, we have problems. And if Leeds do that against us, anything can happen. But me, I'm leaning towards a win. But I don't think it's going to be a blowout. I don't think it's going to be a 5 6 nil or whatever. I don't think so. Uh, troops. 2-1 Chelsea. Yep, Chelsea. Chelsea win all around. Same scoreline, 2-1. The, 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 the big one, the big one this weekend is actually not on the weekend. It's on it's on Monday. Monday night football. Liverpool goes uh, to Man United. Relegation battle. <laughs> two, two teams that are struggling big time. <laughs> <laughs> two teams that are struggling. It's the dogfight. Relegation battle. It's the dogfight for relegation. Uh, for I go to your dad. Well, when, when I heard <laughs> Liverpool, Man United, I just choked. Because I know what's about to happen. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> oh, poor. I'm not even. I'm not even going to delay the intro on this one. No Darwin Nunes. I'm just going to let the. I'm going to let the master do what he does best when it comes to Man United troops. Take it away, please. Kill them, bro. You see these pictures? Yeah? You're about to fucking forget Goonies funeral. Yeah, it's Man United's fucking. It's, it's Man United's funeral. Man United's eulogy. Everything, blood. Yeah, Man United's fucking christening, baptism, blood. Hey, Man United getting dunked. They are getting dunked on. I don't care if it's that fucking um, OT. I don't care if it's that OT, bro. They are getting dunked the fuck on, mate. Yeah? They will try and raise their levels because it is Liverpool, so the whole rivalry, you understand, certain players in that, in, in that squad also understand the rivalry between United and Liverpool. But even with Darwin Noodles, as Expressions calls him, I'm going to call him Central C. You understand? We're going to call him Darwin C. You understand? Somebody told Doja Cat. And I'm trying to indulge in that. You get me? Man like Darwin C. You understand? I still think Liverpool um, will have enough uh, to get the win. I don't think it will be like last season when it was like 5 0 and them thing there. Cause obviously, Mane's not there. Thiago's injured. Liverpool got a lot of injuries. But. I can see a 2 0. Liverpool. I think I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be more than that. I dude, they were they were unlucky against Palace because that that I mean from the get go, the, the, their first chance came within like the first minute when when Milner fired off fired about bar and it just was just an unlucky day against Crystal Palace and they're meeting a United team that is that is down at least Liverpool in their in their in their in their drop point situations are looking half decent. United is dropping points. And looking terrible. So it's, it's I, relegation for a minute, so. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be nuts. I think it's gonna be. I, don't I think it's gonna be more than two. Honestly, I don't disagree. Your, with thought, you. your thoughts on this one, bro? Honestly speaking, I reckon United are going to hold a beating, bro. Because there's things that are in my mind, like Liverpool are yet to get three points, 
and what a place to make a statement. <laughs> yeah, what a place to want to get your three points. Bro, I reckon it's going to be 2-0 by half time, 4-0, possibly 5 by full time. I'd be very, very surprised if it's anything less than that. Because what I saw from... you got to see in the manner of which Manchester United lost against Brentford. It was shocking. It's embarrassing. It was an it's embarrassing. embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. When they go 1-0 down, the confidence... Shot to pieces, so isn't it? Yeah, that's it. They're done. I reckon Liverpool... You know what's insane? Piping. Let me ask you. Let me ask you guys this. Does Scott McTominay... Does Scott McTominay start in any other Premier League midfield? How is he no. starting at Man United? Alex Ferguson... He don't get into... The, he don't get into no... No top 10 midfield. No, no bro, top I'm talking 10 about midfield. the entire league. You guys can stop the second sandwich, man. You stop. Oh, you're mad. Oh, you're mad. Bro, El Nenny, no banter. El Nenny is better than him. No banter. Like, no banter. I don't disagree. I'm, banter. I don't disagree. I'm being very serious. Disagree. You're saying top 10. I'm saying the entire league. He doesn't make it into... I was, I, I thought... I was thinking about this this morning because because we're going to talk about the United and all that. I, was, I don't think he makes it into any team in the league. It's crazy. It's, and, and the fact that he's starting, he's he's the go-to guy at Man United just shows you how far, how much lower they've gone. It's 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 insane. And yeah, I, I, I'll round it off. Maybe Forrest. Maybe, maybe that. Maybe Forrest. Is that, is that saying much? <laughs> maybe Forrest. Yeah. Is that saying? <laughs> That's how peak You can go link his brethren Lingard. Right? That, it's that, so Alex Ferguson tax, I'm telling you, because since he came out and said, oh, McTominay's like my son. He's never stopped playing, bro. I'm telling you, there's no footballing reason. This John really thought he really thought McTominay was Darren That's Fletcher Mark II. When really, when really, when really, this motherfucker is fucking Jemba Jemba. Nah, Jemba Eric was better Jemba than him. Jay. Eric Jemba J. <laughs> Jemba was better than him. Jemba Jemba was better than him. Yeah, man, like fucking man, like fucking Luke Jemba Chadwick. Jemba boys. Oh God, yeah. Eminence, Eminence. Actually, let me not. Let me not be mean. Let me not be mean. What do you mean, the ugly Money motherfucker? Answer. The guy looked like <laughs> fucking... The guy looked like fucking... What's his name, blood? The guy looked like fucking... Oh, what, what's them little fucking... Brian Chucky, blood? Man looked like Brian Chucky, blood. Man looked like Chucky's wife, fam. Like, what he's there on the pitch like? You, you, see how, you see how through the years, though, with, once like, the money started had, coming in, it started changing a little bit. Money, bro, if he never had football money, he's in the brothel Monday to Sunday. So the, the money figured out his acne. The money figured... <laughs> <laughs> the money figured out a lot of stuff for him. Shout out Luke Chadwick. Wow. He was a mess, bro. He was... You know certain man, if they ain't got money, they ain't getting no pum pum blood. He one of them. <laughs> Luke Chadwick, what a guy. Bless from the past. But yeah, no, that's L's. United L's all around in that uh, Liverpool... Uh, Liverpool Man United game at Old Trafford. Uh, let's see. Man City goes to Newcastle, boys. How are we feeling about that one? This is the bro. This one here. Ah, city, city. Two no. Say city. Two no city, brother. You th you think Newcastle no will be no, 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 no. I think I don't oh, think they'll okay. win because City have a really good. City have a good record at um at um Saint Saint James, James Park. I'm gonna say yeah, you know. Yeah. That. So I believe that they'll go there. I, I think two no. I think 2 0. City always go there and win 2 0. There's always 2 0 at Newcastle. It's always 2 0. I don't know why. I was, gonna, I was actually going to say 2 2, but I'm going to say 2 1 to City. I'm going to say 2 1 to City. What? No, no, no. But I was, I was going to say that I'm going to go 2 1 City, though. I think City still get three points. Have City even conceded this? Have City even conceded? I swear City ain't even conceded. They won 4 0. Their first, uh, they last week. What? Who did they play first game? Let me see. First game they played. Yeah, they haven't conceded. Um, Bournemouth. West Ham didn't score. I swear they beat West Ham 2-0. No. Let me see. And then they beat West Ham. It was Bournemouth first, then West Ham. Or was it? Yeah, it was Bournemouth first, then West Ham. Now, it was West yeah. Ham first, because Harlem scored in his debut. Yeah, 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 they haven't conceded. So it was 2-0. They haven't conceded. 2-0 away conceded. at West Ham, and then 4-0 Leicester. Yeah, see? 2-0 City, blood. Two, that's what, remember I said Desmond, I said, what? <laughs> Yo, dog. I think Newcastle scored, though. Maybe 2-1. Because Yamar is in their man there, you get me? Newcastle got a bit of creativity really the whole good. The whole home crowd as well. They're gonna push Callum them Wilson on beginning the of Jordan, the season. The Jordan's are made of Callum Wilson beginning of the season's a hitman as well. 
It's always at the beginning where he goes on his streaks and scores goals, Callum Wilson. Scored a beautiful goal first and he's week. On fire. He's, on, he's on fire right now. Scored like. a beautiful uh, goal first game week. Yeah, you know what? 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one City. Wilson will get one. Nah, yeah, City, City wins all around. All right, Brighton goes to West Ham. I think Brighton does it. I think they draw. Nah, West Ham. West Ham, they are mm-hmm. dying for a win. Two defeats in their mm-hmm. first two games. Declan Rice missed the penalty. Declan Rice is coming out on smoke this game. West Ham win, but I can't tell you the um, scoreline. Score uh, Goody? 1-1. One, one. All right, this opens. Opens the weekend. Wolves goes to Tottenham. You've got to go for them scumbags, isn't it? Can't lie. You've got to go for I them fucking so. scumbags. Wins. They go, what, are they away to Wolves? You think Wolves? Are they away? No, no, Tottenham's at home. Oh, no, Tottenham's nah. at home. Oh, okay. Tottenham's yeah, at home. Big, big yeah, big yeah. Zaha's a fucking Yankee. You always says yeah, the away team goals, first. So I yeah, say Tottenham. go into it. Tottenham, <laughs> Tottenham will win it. That, that's the way that makes sense. It's Tottenham the team is going it, to... They'll scrape it. But it's interesting. Do you know who I want to see? I hope Wolves start that Mateus Nunes because that guy is quality. Watch him this season. I can't believe they signed him. That's a player that I wanted Chelsea to sign as well. But yeah, two, I think I, I think Spurs win it though. Aston Villa goes to Sellers Park. That's gonna be yeah, Palace. Yep, Palace for me. Yeah. Gerard's Gerard's not looking good. Stevie Gerard's a bum bro. Who gets sacked first? Gerard Lampard. or Lampard? Because of where, because of where Everton, because of where Everton finished last season, I think, I think, I think Lampard's under more, more heat. But he did save them. Remember that he did save uh, them. Is that? Is, I mean, yeah. Stacks and them were still fuming. <laughs> they wanted more than saving. <laughs> they thought that they were going to finish like top eight and shit. So that's. Stacks has lost. Stacks thinks it's fucking David Moyes, two thousand and seven. <laughs> so yeah, based off, based off, based off last season because of that previous. I think he goes first. Um, Actually, speaking of the devil, Forest to Forest goes to Goodison Park. Not not again. Forest goes to goes to, goes to Good, uh, Goodison yeah, Park. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm gonna, gonna win. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Stacks. If Stacks, if you don't win this year, I swear to God, I, even I'm gonna start fucking. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I might start looking at odds on relegation and that. So yeah, I'm telling man. Uh, Brentford Brentford goes to Fulham. I think this is gonna be a very good game. This is gonna be draw. a very good game. Yeah, I'm gonna go draw. And this is a this is a West London oh, derby. Yeah. West London derby, so I'm gonna go Desmond two two. Same is great in terms of in terms of like location and how it just looks. Is Craven Cottage probably the nicest nicest place? Like, like it's right off the river. That's the one that's right on the river, right? Because the cottage is on the Thames. Yeah, it's literally right by the it's literally right by the river. It probably is the nicest situated mm-hmm. stadium in London. Probably, yeah. I'd Craven say that. Cottage. All right, Southampton goes to Leicester. Leicester. Oh, bruv. I'll go Leicester. Jamie Vardy, your wife Wait, is, is, he, is he back now? <laughs> yeah. He, he played, played against us. We were terrorizing. That's, that's, that's what we were singing that. We were, we were singing that in the, in the ground. I'm not going to lie. And then we were singing, Yuri Tillemans, we'll see you next week. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see you <laughs> next week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, football fans are too funny, blood. Funny. Speaking of songs, that Asus song, I'm trying to I'm trying to learn the words. I, I can't I can't think. That's a sick song. That uh, yeah, because there's two. They they, they they were singing na 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 na. Hey Zeus, they were singing that in the ground. What's, what's that? Big yeah, and then they've got um, the new one. I need that to learn viral, that. Yeah. For my learning, but you know me, I learned the song quick. So when I learn it, I got yeah. I, I, and my my problem is dyslexia. So I've I've looked at the video. Why well, the self diagnosed? Yeah. I've looked at the video like twenty nah, times already, days, and I, I can't recall the words. Give me two days, I got you. But yeah, people, that's uh, that's the weekend. So a uh, little uh, little PSA, a little uh, housekeeping thing. No stream. Look out for the fan cam and all the post uh, post match stuff. As you can see, Croops is in, ten- is in Tenerife, so no no stream as opposed to that. So yeah, just look out for the post uh, stuff. And yeah, that's that's pretty much that's pretty much it on our end, man. As always, shout out to shout out to Wayne Jetski on the buttons back there, Goonie troops everybody that listens make sure you like share subscribe hop in actually chelsea fans the uh, goonie when we talked about the bomb and get in the comments let us know what you what you feel about oh but do you want him there do you do you not want him there are you like goonie that says fuck obama and look well not that but look, let's let's get a cdm and all that let us know what you what you're saying all in the comments we'll check that out but also don't forget to like and share share the pod but uh till uh monday people 
Everybody have a good weekend. I hope Arsenal wins. Everybody make sure you stay safe and wash your hands. Wash your fucking hands, blood.